In this episode of Food Finders, we'll be exploring Jalan Besar. Here are some hip cafes as well as a fish soup spot not to be missed. Welcome to my hood! Yo, welcome to Food Finders! One of these many hip and happening places in Jalan Besar. Are there a lot of cool places here since you live nearby? A lot of yeah. like bars and cafes popping up. Okay, yeah. let's go check out some places. Let's go! Wait a minute! So your hidden mission for today is to eat five of these sweets without Joy realizing that you are eating a sweet. Can I just swallow the whole thing? So the moment she asks you like, wait, are you eating something or like, are you eating a sweet? Then you're out. Sure. <laughs> yeah, fish soup paradise. So fish soup Ooh. paradise is apparently very famous in the Raffles Place Telok area. area. They have yeah. a stall there. This is their flagship stall, but they will also be opening a few, one more yeah. in one CIM more. CIMB Plaza. CIMB, yeah. Fish tip You're getting old. So I have the dual fish soup. So they have like the fried fish mm -hmm. as well as non-fried. But they said that like this one doesn't have milk, but yeah. it looks a little bit milky because the milkiness is really from the fish bones that mm. they boil for six hours. And here I have the curry fish soup. So this is also like a really interesting new kind of dish that mm. I've never seen before done with fish soup. I like the consistency. It's like not too thick, you know, like so it still has like a bit more soup. Yeah, this egg. Thing also. What is that? Isn't that it should be No, it should be fried egg. This just goes with the fish soup. Oh, oh wow. It tastes really um, natural and actually kind of healthy for this curry one. They don't really add salt and MSG and preservatives yeah, okay, into okay. any of their soups. That's interesting. Hiya! All really just wow. from the natural the boiling, yeah. ingredients. It's actually quite savory even without salt. I'm gonna try the fish. And try your curry. Mm. I actually like this. I'm not okay. usually a fan of curry soup because usually it looks a little bit unhealthy for me. This is yummy. That's quite clean. It's not like yeah, it's very, very oily. Clean. So this is uh, batang fish. The most commonly used fish for fish soup. La. Uh, yeah, some... they only use batang yep. here. Oh, but it's yummy yeah. with the fried but egg. But it's quite good. La. Genuinely impressed. impressed. I'm oh. actually quite excited for this one. It's a bakute fish soup. Do you know yes. also why they only use batang fish? Well, I didn't until about a minute ago. <laughs> batang fish is apparently considered a good fish by In? the Teochew oh. people. Oh, yes. So, this So, bakote is apparently not made with pork, so it's made with fish. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's, let's try it. Okay, it still has like okay. the bakote ish mm. flavors, the spices. Yeah, the spices the are there. The herbs are yeah. similar. So, you definitely get a bit more like peppery taste, I'd say. Star anise is, is one of the things that you can taste as well. A bit more umami than the original fish yeah, yeah, soup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say an interesting fusion, and there's no pork. No lard. So, this is a good option if you don't eat pork. Super crispy looking. Yotiao. I love yotiao with my bakote. It looks very crispy. Mm, it's very crispy. It's very deeply mm. fried. Oh, forgot to mention, they actually serve these like homemade chrysanthemum herbal tea and for free. Oh, really it's free? Good. Yeah. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. So okay. we have a present from the oh producer. Oh my god. So this is like one of those fish broth packets that you can make at home. It comes with the broth and all you just need to do is throw in the ingredients that you want, like fish slices, no, no. preservatives, no, no MSG, MSG. You're just no reading off the packet. <laughs> Healthier the choice. This is not just their only flavor. There's like, I think 11 flavors. Which is your favorite? This traditional one without the fried fish. You don't like the fried fish? I'm I'm just not I a fan of fried fish, fish in general. Fish. Also the curry, like that one is surprisingly good. We're gonna move off to the next spot, which is just 10 seconds walk away. 10 seconds later. We're here at the Donut Shack, where they serve... Uh, shacks, donuts, and bombolini. I have ordered from them a long yeah. time, for a while now, since they yeah. were first in Wampo ah. Who says Wampo ah? Shall we just go in? Yeah, uh, I don't see why not. Oh, it's technically my second one. Usually, usually I like to eat a creme brulee for breakfast. Lunchtime will be their Earl Grey blueberry. And then maybe dinner time, I'm feeling chicken ham and cheese slider. Meanwhile, 
we're here inside inside I mean, the donut shop. inside the donut <laughs> what's special about them is that they hand make all of their donuts hand and made. boblinis in-house oh. in small batches i think they switch their flavors every two months as well it's donut teller is popular right the creme brulee i think is a classic so the creme brulee colleagues cream this looks good. like an ice cream sandwich pistachio ganache also like a fan favorite and i chose like a mocha ganache instead to try out Mmm. Oh wow. I like the bombolini texture, but also they're pretty generous with their filling. So simple. It's very simple. It's like so much filling. The mocha is really strong. Really, I can really taste like almost the coffee flavor. It's like a shot of espresso, but like in. I like that. Next one, creme brulee. Okay, okay I'll you do, know what? I'll, okay, I'll do my, the pistachio. I don't know how you're gonna share the Horlicks one, but. This pistachio one also has a lot of fillings. It's good. The Holix one is like a bit salty, but it's a very thick cream. It is like heavy it cream like, though. This is like heavy cream. I think so far like the, the dough itself is actually really light. It feels like there's more filling than, than dough. So, Which is what you want, yeah. I guess, yeah. Maybe that's why I always get it because it doesn't really feel so unhealthy all the time. The but the, thick, the dough but itself. So much no, the dough itself is pretty uh, like light. The dough that's why you gotta go for the creme brulee. That one is no filling. Oh, really? There's no or, filling in the creme brulee? Like, I think there is, but... Oh my gosh, yeah, there is. <laughs> it is. Yeah, this is all it's lighter, lighter, right? Yeah. Lighter, like a custard. I actually quite like the creme brulee. Like the Holic one, I felt it was a bit too mm. heavy. It was for me. I, I, I really yeah. like the creme brulee one. That one is a good classic. Actually, my favorite one today has to be the mocha one because mm. I have tried most of these before. Mocha one, I haven't. And I like the strong coffee flavor. <laughs> you can judge by which is our favorite by... By looking at the bites. Yeah. <laughs> How much donut we ate. This one, Horlick, right. barely any the because one... it's so heavy. If you're looking for, you know, a snack, something to bring to your friends, like housewarming, party, dinner party, whatever. They have lots of variety here, yeah. like 25. To 30, oh, wow. Flavor. Very specific. Wow. Yeah. That's it for Donut Shack. Donut transition. Oh. Oh. Ah. Guns out, guns out. Guns out. So we are at Luna. The Luna Rabbit Belongere. Je peux parler en français. A weeby? They're known for 100% handcrafted pastries. And actually, one of their mm. executive baker is a Cordon Bleu Tokyo graduate. Yes, shall, shall we? we? Yes, Let's I'm wrap melting. it up. Let's Producer go. says Let's we go. wrap up. Okay, too hot, bye. too hot. Go. What are we doing? Say it. This is croissant. This one. Wait, uh, it should be pan or chocolate. Pan or chocolate. This one, this one, this one is always a hard one. Kun Amon. Kun is Kun. 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 Kun Amon. Poisson à la peach. <laughs> Not even Poisson à la peche. No, no, no. I think I know this one. Plus de. Uh, plus de. de. when bois. We have six pastries in the classic bundle. Croissant, mm -hmm. uh, we have our pano chocolate, Queen Amman, the pizza and the almond. Sacristan. Uh, and this is our Queen Amman. It may be different from what you see from some bakery. Mm -hmm. yeah, some has it in the round yeah. for shape. Mm -hmm. This is actually the first original shape where oh. they first came up with it. Yes. For our pastry, we use um, a lascure butter, which is a French AOP butter. That's our almond croissant. We have our own house made uh, almond cream. So <coughs> that's infused. Mm. With rum. Rum? rum. Yes, with okay. rum. Yeah, it's always nice to have a little bit of alcohol. Our philosophy is we wanted to introduce some classic baits mm. to the Singapore market. And for us to produce our pastry, they take at least three days. Three and days? Yes. Like exactly. to prepare the dough yes, and stuff. Exactly. Okay. Oh, that saves us a lot of uh... explanation. As you have heard from the lovely <coughs> executive baker. Yes. I'm gonna guess the La Cordon Bleu Tokyo graduate. He does not say like that. But yes, I think not... she is. So if you buy any bundle, the you get bundle. Though. One free truffle butter roll. You have to flash, flash the, the video. video. Okay, so producer say if you show the video of this place, of this scene, yes. I guess. Enough talking, let's start eating. I want to start with the classic. Two, uh, I'm on, I'm okay. I think the versions I've tried is the twirly twirly one. Yeah, okay, so it's still like layered and flaky-ish inside. Yeah. But I think as Chef mentioned, it will be a bit more chewy. chewy. Oh. Oh, it's white. It's very chewy. The outer layer has a harder, crunchier texture for sure. There's like a glaze on top, right? It's quite nice. I quite like it. Very buttery though. Sacristan. Sacristan. Wait, why does it look like a person? Okay, here, have a leg. Mmm. Very fluffy. It's almost like a cookie, you know? This one is less sweet than the other one. Definitely more of the almond coming in. Okay, my favorite pastry is pan or chocolate. Really? Oh, 
Oh my oh god! My okay, god. Stop, 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 stop! It's very crispy. Oh my goodness. Mm. Love the whole thing. You like it? This pan of bread by itself is kind of plain, right? But like the amount of chocolate is, is not too much. I have to say it's good because the inside is so soft. All right, Passons? moving on. Okay, I, I'm pulling out. Oh, it's actually like stretchy. <gasps> oh wow, that's so right. good. It's very light, lah. Mm. I think the way she does it. Fluffy texture. I have to say, like the standard is really very different from struggling to think of names that I can name like <laughs> or something. But like, what? You know, and then I remember, hey. Is this is like a little like, little like a little, little cave little. in here. <clears throat> oh, this tastes like an actual pizza but in a pastry form. I don't know why but this reminds me of kaya toast for some reason. Is this sweet? Yeah, it's sweet. Kind of creamy-ish. Like the almonds, perfecto. I think the barnaria pizza is a, like a light snack. This is like the first day we think we ate. This yeah, I don't know why but like suddenly this tastes damn good. This the dine house. I want to see like the inside. This is the only other savory item as well. It smells so good. This the chocolate real, butter roll. Oh, mm. damn. Oh, I like the texture. Like, like everything was like crispy, part, right? right? Flaky, but this is like a soft roll. This is a true butter roll. Oh shit, I like this. Wow, I think we're done here. What's your favorite? The margarita pizza and the chocolate pizza? butter roll. Mm -hmm. I love all the pastries, but I love cheese. You know, like sacristan and the almond. It's not just like almond on top. There's actually almond cream inside or something. Yeah. And here we have it. Right. The Luna Rabbit Lingerie. Boom. <laughs> so fun. Oh, like a dog. Welcome! Miss Yuren is uh how do I describe this place? I don't know. That's like construction opposite. It's like a corner unit. It used to be a police station back in the 1980s and Fair whatnot. Name. I think what is the coolest is that I thought it was like gonna be a local like durian shop, but it's yeah. super aesthetic cafe. Let's go! Get out of the sun. Yeah. So this is the fried durian appetizer for the all-day brunch menu. Yeah. Oh wow. The batter is a mm. bit salty, but inside is, is just the durian, what they call that, puree. Surprisingly delicious. I was really scared to try that. Is it better than what raw the? durian? Yeah. Ah. Mm -hmm. Right, so even though the whole cafe is called Miss Durian, but there are non durian mains. So this is new, right? Yeah. It's Tom Yum pasta. And then yours is the? Orange butter chicken. It's kind of crispy. Could it pan fry the, the skin or something? Oh, look, it came off by itself. Ooh. It's pretty good, but I'd say that the pasta is a little bit al dente. Yeah, try it. Mm, go ahead. Okay, wow. This is like proper texture. I think it's a bit too firm. I think it's the authentic texture. It's that spicy though. The tom yum kicks you after. Okay. Chicken chop is good, but I don't really taste the orange. Oh wait, yeah, I taste it. It's not like super in your face, but... But it comes to you after. Is there? I mean... I prefer the pasta over the chicken chop. Shall we okay. move on to the dessert? Yeah, yeah. Oh! Oh, it's very soft. Is so they only good? use authentic Mao Shan Wang. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Okay, this is a really good durian cake. To be honest, like a lot better than I expected. It's actually a lot softer and I think the vanilla layer makes it yeah. like not super strong. Is this like a good introduction to durian yeah. if you never I had so. it before? Cracklin, cheers. Okay, cheers. Whoa. This a is a lot, of, uh, a lot of durian. It's essentially a cream puff. It's like an elevated durian puff. For someone who um, didn't like durian, I'm actually having a good time eating this. Am I becoming a durian lover? Do you think that and this is one of the best like um, durian pastries on the market? Okay. To be fair, this is actually one of the best, or probably the best durian cake I've had. <gasps> but it is also one of the most expensive I've seen. I think you get what you pay for. I personally aesthetics. really love the aesthetics of this cafe. Like this is a place where I definitely can work, like work from right. cafe. Because most durian places, like restaurants, are very like mm -hmm. local, very like hot. We are gonna wrap up our Jalan Besar keep food Ooh. finding. Oh my god! It almost broke. No, it didn't. It's because you're so fat. Freaking. Ah! We finish our Jalan Besar. Favorite of the day. One, two, three. Luna Red. I said hey, parasite. So why do you like it? I just think that it's a great portion for how much you pay and the fish soup is actually very tasty. I like Luna Rabbit. That's my second. The butter and the attention to details and it takes three days to make the freaking pastry. I would say it's worth it. Jesse, I thought we have the ah! reveal. What reveal? Ah! Secret mission. Secret mission. I knew it! <laughs> 
Right. I, I remember okay. seeing you eating something at Donut Shack and I was like, wait, why is he eating that? How would I like even point it out? Because it's such a such a bunch. I do think that the way that he was cowardly. Coward? No. Cowardly! I had, good, I had video. <laughs> okay, anyway. Oh, you you're also penalty with Why me. am I penalty? What <laughs> the? <laughs> that is the conclusion of this episode. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment on our channel. Comment about Seth's hair. Bye. Bye. Next episode. Okay, you can add. Okay. Guys, guys, go ahead. Sir. Wait, can you not do? Can well, my fans. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, selfie. Oh. See, no one wants to. No one take me. They probably don't even know who I am.